Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com. I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play 10-gallon dog. Okay, when you first start the game, this is the, the main menu that you'll first see. And uh, at this point, you could click this button, the More Games button, and it'll take you to our website where you can play more games like this. The instructions will give you the written instructions, and the Play button will take you to the game. I'm going to go ahead and click that, and you, you have, you'll see come up with the uh, level selection screen. And when you first start out, all of the levels will be lightly shaded except for the first one, and you'll be able to play that. As you successfully complete a level, then you'll be able to move on to the next one. And if you don't get all three water drops on each one, which is the best you can do, you can always go back and try to do it again. And try to get three uh, drops. Okay, let's start out with the first level. Now, the object of this level is to give Math Pup the one gallon of water that Math Pup is requesting. So the way you do that is you will fill up but fill up and empty buckets until you get one of the buckets with one gallon left in it. Now this is water. This is the well that holds the water that you get the water. Uh, use the buckets to uh, get water into. And here you can empty the buckets out over here when you'll you'll need to do that on a lot later levels. Okay, so we're looking for one gallon of water in one of these buckets. Now this bucket. This four represents that it holds four gallons, and this one a little bit larger, and it holds five gallons. And currently, this other number shows that it currently ha how much uh, water it currently has in it, and this one has zero in it, and this one has zero. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, complete the level. And the way I'll do that is I'll left click on the uh, bucket here, and I'll release the button, bucket, the button, and it'll fill up the button. And at this point, what I'll do is I'll pour uh, four gallons into here. I'll just fill it up and that, that'll remove four gallons from here. That'll leave me with one and then uh, that will give the one gallon left in this bucket that uh, Math Prep's asking for. So let's go ahead and do that. Complete the level. Let's go ahead and move on to the next level. We got three drops because we did it in two moves. Uh, this now Math Prep's requesting five gallons of water and I can do pretty much the same thing on this one. Um, it's got nine gallons. I'm going to pour, fill this one up, which means it'll be removing four gallons from the nine, and it'll leave us with five gallons. And I get three drops on that for doing it in two moves. Okay, now this one uh, is a little bit more complicated. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, you normally it'll take, it might take you a little bit to figure out. And if you didn't know how to do it, you could always get a little bit help here. And it says. It shows you what to do here, and it says take the 10-gallon, fill it with water, 10-gallon bucket, I should say, fill it with water, dump six of it in here, and then take the 10 what's left in there and pour it in the 3-gallon bucket, and that'll leave you with the 1-gallon. So let's go ahead and uh, get rid of the help screen and click that. Let's go ahead and take the 10-gallon bucket like it says, pour six of it out. Now we have four left in it, and if we pour three into this bucket filling it up, it'll give us a one gallon that Math Pub's requesting. And this one um, says give me two gallons of water. And so what I can do with that is a little bit trickier. And, and if level goes levels go on, they, they do get a little bit harder and more buckets and a little bit trickier. But go ahead and fill this one up with eight. And let's go ahead and put three in there. That leaves me with with five. And now the only thing we can do is empty that one out and now I'll pour another three gallons in here and it'll leave me with two gallons which Matt Pup requested. Um, at this, at this, um, this, I've been pressing the, uh, this button to go to the next screen but you can also press this button to restart the level and you can press this button and it'll take you to the uh, level selection screen. We can take a look at the next level but uh, that, that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. I uh, just want to let you, give you an idea how to play. The solutions are all in the game. Uh, so if you do get in trouble you can uh, or need help you can always click on the question mark and it'll give you the help there. But um, I hope you enjoy playing the game and I hope you li um, like the video and thanks for watching.